93.9 Academy FM. Welcome to the Unseen Poetry Revision Podcast with me, Tia. Me, Connor. And me, Luke. One. Firstly, read out the whole poem. Autumn arrives like an experienced robber, grabbing the green stuff and cunningly covering his tracks with a deep multitude of colourful distractions. And the wind. The wind is his accomplice, putting an air of chaos into the careful diversions. So branches shake and dead leaves are suddenly brown in the faces of inquisitive strangers. The theft chills the world, changes the temper of the earth, till the normally placid sky glows red with a quiet rage. Next work out what the question means. Here it is. In autumn, how does the poet present the effects of the season of autumn? It may help to put it into your own words, like this. Write about how the poet uses different techniques to describe autumn. 3. Write about the title. Here are some things to consider. A. Is it alliterative? B. Is it descriptive? What does it describe? Or is it short and to the point? And C. Does the title tell you what the poem is about? 4. Next we write about the theme. Remember to refer back to the question so you answer it. Consider the following. A. Describe what is taking place, basically what happens in the poem. And B. Write about the explicit meaning of the poem, what it directly tells us. Write about the implicit meaning of the poem, what it is really saying, that it doesn't directly say, i.e. what is or are the hidden meanings. Metaphor. Now read the hints yourself. Pause the video and read them several times if necessary. Number five. Write down who the speaker is. Is it... A. The author, the first person, or B. Someone else, in the third person. C. Does the person speaking have an agenda? This means, are they trying to change something or influence the reader? Or are they simply trying to get across their thoughts about something? Number six. Next, write about emotions. Remember to refer back to the question, how does the poet present the effects of the season of autumn? Are there any emotions demonstrated by the speaker? Or is the speaker not emotional and simply an observer? Does the poem make you feel emotional? How? Remember, emotions aren't just happy or sad. Fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust, surprise, trust, anticipation, love, pity or envy. Can you identify the emotive language? See the examples from the poem Autumn at the bottom of the slide. Number seven. In the poem, does the poet use any of the following techniques and where? Simile. As big as an elephant, as black as coal. Personification. Read to her the last piece of pie calling her name. My alarm clock yells at me every morning. Semantic field. Brother, sister, mother are all part of the same semantic field. All musical instruments are in another semantic field. Metaphor. Life is a roller coaster. The classroom was a zoo. Alliteration. Amazing amounts of alliteration in this audio. Oxymoron. Open secret, deafening silence, living dead. Sibilance. Accomplice, chaos, diversions. Colour connotations. Black humour, green with envy, seeing red. Pause the video and look at the examples of how poetic techniques are used in the poem Autumn. The lines of the poem are on the left, with poetic techniques on the right. There are two slides of examples. Number eight. Finally, write about the structure and form. Write about how the poem is constructed and how many stanzas it has. Does it have a specific form? E.g. a sonnet has 14 lines. Think about the rhyme and rhythm. Does the rhythm link to the mood of the poem? Any examples of enjambment or sejura? If you're unsure of what these are, read descriptions at the bottom of the slide. 5.9 Academy FM. You've been watching the Unseen Poetry Revision Guide, produced by Academy FM Folkestone for the Folkestone Academy. For more revision guides, see the link to the school's website.